Hello gorgeous, welcome to one of my probably most requested videos in a very long time. Everyone is asking how to apply fake lashes, which you see me do it all the time, but I don't really like dive in and like show you how it's done. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna show you two different methods on how to apply lash bands, which is the strips. I am not showing individual lashes. If that's something you wanna see, let me know in the comments below. But if you wanna see the two different ways to do it, keep on watching. So for lash brands, I have a couple of favorite lash brands on the higher end and one is definitely Huda Beauty Lashes. These are my Samantha lashes. I love them so much. The reason I love them, and they do have a bigger price tag, I think they're $18 a pair, but this pair in particular, I think I've worn it like mm, six times and they can still be worn. They hold up so well. The lash glue comes off of it perfectly. I really recommend these. The other brand that I love is Coco Lashes and I also love House of Lashes, but I find Coco Lashes to be the exact dupe for House of Lashes. The Iconics, which everybody loves, the goddess from Coco Lashes is identical, but the other one I love is Queen Bees. These are so, so, so beautiful and really make you have that really doe eye look. As for drugstore, my favorite brand is definitely Ardell. These lashes are the 113s and I've been wearing them on repeat lately. I love them. They look so gorgeous when you apply them. And the other lashes that I love from Ardell are the Wispies and the Double Wispies. I think that they're both really, really beautiful. And I say double, not demi. I don't like the demi Wispies, but I like the double and the regular Wispies. As for glue, the number one glue that I love is the House of Lashes Eyelash Adhesive. Um, I just feel like it holds better than any other glue I've ever tried, and I have tried a lot of glue. I've tried a lot of lashes, so when I tell you that these are my favorite, they are truly, 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 truly my favorite. So I'm gonna break it down step by step how to apply lashes. I'm gonna use the 113s, but I'm gonna do it in two different methods. I'm gonna show you full strip, and then I'm gonna cut this strip down for you into sections and apply it that way so that you can understand the difference and see the difference when you apply. Okay, so the very first thing is to remove your lashes from the actual lash tray that they come in. I have made the mistake before by, by pulling them too hard and then breaking and like losing lashes and you don't wanna do that. So the first way that you can do is just take your finger and lightly pull the band away from the tray, like so. By doing that, you're not damaging your lashes. They come off in one piece and really, really nicely. Or another way that I like to do it is I like to take my tweezers and I like to work up the very edge and slowly pull them up. Don't rip them or you're gonna have a mess on your hands, but you can see how like there's the adhesive there that you're trying to remove. And then it comes off in one nice piece. So as you can see, my glue has some boogers on it. <laughs> That's because it's very well loved. So all I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply a tiny, tiny bit. Like look how thin I'm doing that right along the lash band. You don't need a lot. That's when things start to get messy and girls have a hard time applying their lashes. It's just a very thin, thin amount. Get it evenly. I like to add a little bit on the edge because we want that to adhere to the eye also. As you could see, it goes on white. And then I do this usually for about 30 seconds or so until the glue turns like a more of a translucent, like with a green tint to it. And if I'm in a really big hurry, I'll put my, my hair dryer on low and I'll blast it and get it really good and warm. Because when it turns colors, that means it's tacky and that's the best time to apply it is when it, it actually tacks onto your skin. Okay, so now that it's tacky, what you wanna do is first of all, make sure that your tweezers don't have any, any sticky on there or else when you go to take the tweezers away from your lashes, it's gonna pull the lashes with it. So start with clean tweezers and I like to hold it right in the center because that is gonna help me put it right into the center of my eye. So now that I've got it into my center, you want to look down and tap it right onto your lash line. Then I take my outside corner, lift up, and then pull it down along the lash line and then same thing over here. Then I turn my tweezers backwards, pull my eye taut, and I just line up the lashes to my lid. Okay, so now that I've got my lashes along my lid, I turn my tweezers around the other way. Sorry, my tweezers are broken, but they work the best. And then I just tap them into my lash line, and then I pull it back this way, and I get as close as I can without pinching my skin, and I pinch my lashes into the fake lashes into my lash line. 
and that helps them to really blend so that you can't tell what's yours and what's not yours. And then to get more of a curl to my lash, I like to take my finger and then just push them up so that they dry in more of an upward shape. I mean, how pretty are these lashes? I know I've talked about them before, but I love them. Okay, so if you wanna really make sure that your lashes blend nicely, um, I'll sometimes apply just a little bit of mascara to where my real lashes bend into the false so that they kind of just blend really naturally and you can't see where yours start, where the other ones begin, and it just looks really, really nice. You can also tight line with a little bit of gel liner and then that really hides it nicely, but I mean, it looks so pretty. So now I'm gonna show you the second way to apply a lash strip. As you can see, it's one strip, and what we're gonna do is take scissors and cut them into three sections and then apply them individually. So the glue method and everything is the same, we're just going to cut them into three little sections. I chose a section of the band in each area that I cut that didn't have any hair, so that way I wasn't losing any lash at all. So I'm gonna start with the inside corner, which is this one, apply a little bit of glue, and then we're going to apply that to the eye. So I'm going to go in at the beginning of my eye and then pinch it into my lashes just like I did the other eye. Okay, so now I'm going to apply the middle and right over the middle of my eye. Don't worry about connecting the edges of the lashes because that's not what, what our goal is here. Our goal is to make the eye look fuller. So I'm going to pull my eye taut and then use the back of my tweezers to move the lash band right onto my lash line. And now that I've done that, I'm going to do the same thing as before and just pinch into my lashes. Okay, so the last and final edge piece is ready to go and I'm gonna apply that right to the outside corner of my eye. Move it down into my lash line and then pinch it. All right, so this is what it looks like. Okay, so this eye is the one that we did the pieced, and I feel like this one, you can kind of tell that it has a more broad lash band, lash band than this one is the full band. So it's more concentrated lashes. So it depends on what you're looking to do. Personally, I find that doing the entire lash band at once is a little bit easier and quicker, but I know that other people have find it a lot easier to divide it up into the sections. And you don't have to do three, you could do half, you could do multiple. I think that three makes the most sense because it's the two outside corners and then the inside. So, and the thing is, is that if you really want that doughy, like wide opened, bright eye, you wanna choose a lash band with the longest lashes in the center of the eye. If you're going for more of a cat eye, you want the, lower, the longer lashes on the outside corner. Just a little tip. All right guys, well I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any other like base, like beauty basic 101 types videos that you would like to see from me, you know, anything like that is kind of just gets into detail and breaks things down, let me know in the comment section below or any other video requests that you might have. Make sure to visit me on my blog, AngelaLanter.com. Everything that I used in this video and talked about, I will link in the description bar below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I love y'all so much. Au revoir. Hello gorgeous, I am back with another beauty hack and today we are testing out the very popular red lipstick for concealer.